one of the most OP strategies in Clash of Clans. Let's bring you a strategy guide so that you know exactly how to use it in order to get the three stars. This video will include two attacks by myself at Town Hall 10 in order to explain exactly how I broke down the base using the dragons and bat spells, the AKA drag bat attack strategy. It will also include two attacks by my clanmates to share as many tips tips and tricks as possible to help you get the three stars. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's dive straight into my first attack of this war. We did get a six pack, so we will bring you the second attack where I did use the drag bat as well. But for this first one and for 99% of attacks where you use the dragons, you're going to want to set up a funnel with your king and your queen. Most of the time that will be on either side of the base. So you can see I send the king in in order to take out this side. He's going to take out all of these trash buildings and the queen does the same down at the bottom here. If we pause for a brief second, the reason we brought the queen on this side is to try and take out this air defense, but also I wanted to bring the slammer onto the single inferno and hence I could then protect my queen so she could continue walking down this side. I am then going to bring my dragons in to try and target all of these splash damage defenses because the bat spells will go down very quickly to splash. However, we're also bringing them in behind the sweepers here. The one at the bottom does catch my battle blimp a little bit, but I knew I could send it in towards the single inferno because if you can get single infernos, air defense, anything like that down with your bat spells or the stone slammer, then that is going to help your dragons. Now on the back end here, as the dragons have come through, they've taken out the wizard towers and actually we only have one splash damage defense here and that of the multi inferno. So we rage it and we freeze over the top of it before we place all of the bats. Now I did manage to freeze one air defense there as well, but by the time the freeze spell wears off, the bats have taken out that splash and they've actually merged in with the dragons here. Look, we placed the bat spells in at the right time in order to protect the dragons, take out them defenses as the dragons were just about to get there. And ultimately, they can now merge in together. Look, the bats are still alive, coming around the base and doing a fantastic job. And we have dragons everywhere. Now, there's a few different ways to do this strategy, so we will look at the different methods. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans videos and turn on the notification bell. That's the only way you will see my videos as soon as they go live. So let's fast forward through this one. If any of you want to see the best Town Hall 10 attacks, I'll link a video at the end highlighting the top three Town Hall 10 attacks right now within the game. However, you can always go to my home page where we do have the Town Hall 10 attacks playlist, the home page. Right, into the next one. The king and queen again are going to be used to set the funnel on this side and on this side of the base. And where do we want to bring the dragons in from? Let's pause for a second here. Where do we want to bring the dragons in from? Where do we want to bring the bats in from? Well, the first thing you want to look at is the spread of splash damage. So you can see we have a multi here, a multi here, wizard tower, wizard tower, wizard tower. So actually this top section of the base here there doesn't seem to be a lot of splash damage. There's just this one wizard tower. So we will bring a freeze spell in. However, we should be able to get the queen up to this area as well. Now, how do we funnel the dragons exactly? Because again, you can't really send the dragons across a massive side. Let's look at the sweepers. We have one this side and one this side. Again, this is an ideal scenario. Sometimes you can go into a sweeper. All depends on the situation. So as the queen comes down here and wipes this, let's get the slammer into this area to wipe this down and we're condensing the dragons through this area onto the multi infernos onto the enemy queen that's a big one guys try and take that down with the dragons and we are going to basically take out that entire area now i would highly highly recommend you have one rage spell for the dragons it helps out so much as they fly into that dangerous area now we are able to use the bats 
in this top area where there's no splash again we timed it so that they merged in as the balloons and dragons were getting to that area and we didn't have to use the freeze because the slammer actually got to that wizard tower so we can now use the freeze on the air defense to protect our dragons so again the freeze can be a transferable spell essentially have a couple of places where you might be able to use it and you can essentially pick the best one if you don't need it there you've got somewhere else to put it we were also able to protect that queen with the slammer coming in. Now, they are just a couple of ways of doing it in terms of king and queen on one side, using the slammer to help set up the funnel, whilst also helping to take out the defences. Sometimes you might actually merge it in with the dragons, but essentially you are aiming for around about eight to nine dragons if you can, and the rest balloons. You might notice that on the first attack I took a giant. That was to try and distract a wizard tower on the outside of the base sometimes you can do that guys other times it really is just trying to highlight where you can can use the spells and troops to their best ability now on this one you did see a sneak peek of it at the start you can see we've only got eight dragons for this one but we do have a lava hound now your lava hound unless you know there's some black bombs in an area and the dragons are going to be relatively high damage in terms of air defense you could put a hound there but a lot of the time you will use it to tank for the bats the bats can go down quick if there's a lot of fast high damage defenses and not high damage high fast defenses in an area they can go down quick again let's look at it king on this side again we don't need the queen to shoot over to any of these defenses so the king's good on this side queen can walk down this side and do quite nice whereas the dragons now come in the funnel is set quite nicely we've got this thin strip of the base they're not going to come to this area that's where we're going to drop the bat bomb now there is air defense archer tower we've got an expo there as well so just bringing in this hound can tank for a lot of these defenses as the bats get to work and they do a phenomenal job down there look continuing to take out everything keeping the dragons through this area of the base the dragons didn't have to split to this area if you can control the fire of the dragons maintain their funnel through the base it's going to be helpful so it's not just about setting up the funnel initially it's maintaining the dragons through the base directly to where you want them to go you can use that with the slammer coming in you can use the bat spell sometimes people use the bats prior to sending the dragons in it's not really as effective anymore you want to try and merge them in but it all depends on pathing of your dragons in terms of spells we haven't really touched on that one rage for your dragons one rage for your bats probably a freeze especially if you're tr trying to take out some splash damage alongside that and essentially you want the bat spell in your clan castle if that makes sense because the bat spell taking whoops we are times twoing that instead of putting it on normal speed we're back guys taking the bats in your clan castle that maxed level bat spell is so much more helpful um you can really just modify it to the base as much as you want but essentially you're using king on one side queen on the other setting up a funnel you don't always have to do that you might bring them in separately just depends but essentially you're setting up a funnel for your dragons and the bats are used in them areas where there isn't any splash you might remember a couple of days ago i brought you a video where i got the three stars as well set up the funnel with king and queen either side sent the the dragons through use the bats on the back end but also use the slammer on the back end as well and I used a haste to push the balloons out once they got through which is very helpful so again king is going to clear this area where's the queen though she's coming down this area she could shoot some of them defenses which is going to be helpful if she can shoot over the wall try and think of what the queen can hit and what the king couldn't as the dragons come in they've got this condensed fire coming in again using that rage spell early on to get a lot of the dragons through this area you will typically use that if they are going over high damage areas air defense enemy queen enemy cc anything like that the bats come in relatively early on this one but look at this back end golem 
That is something else which I, again, I said in my first attack I took the giant for, but I didn't actually need it. You don't always have to freeze the splash damages if they're on the edge of the base. Think about how you might be able to tank, whether that's with the Lava Hound, whether that's with a Golem. A lot of people will use an Ice Golem. Maybe you can actually attract the fire of two splash damage defenses at the same time. You're essentially, though, trying to merge the bats in front of the dragons, if that makes sense. Picture the pathing of your dragons. Can they make it through that area? If they can, where are you merging the bats to then protect the dragons? How do you use the stone slammer in order to narrow the path for the dragons, but also get value in taking out the defenses? I hope that has made it a bit clearer for the drag bat. It is a tough strategy if you basically identify the bases and narrow down the strategy for each base base sorry it can be rather technical but i hope that helps if you want to see the video which is the top three town hall 10 attacks it's right there next to me just now but that wraps it up for this one i've been your host judo sloth and until next time peace out